We welcome in the head coach of the Silver and Black, John Gruden, and coach, no excuses, but a tough loss on the road. How has the team responded this week? Yeah, pretty good, JT. Obviously, it was a short week, tough assignment for us. There were some good things we did, but um, we got to play better in the second half. Uh, but I think uh, outside the injuries, we were off to a good start in our preparation for Buffalo. Now, there were some bright spots in the game at New England, and let's begin with Trayvon Mullen, his pass defense. Walk us through this player because clearly his athletic skills and his ability to cover and react, let's talk about him. Well, he's in a second year now, obviously out of Clemson. You see him at the bottom of the screen working against Julian Edelman. This is early in the game. He does a nice job driving on the slant route, getting a nice PBU to get us off the field. He's got the size and the length and the bump and run capabilities that the great Raider corners have had. Uh, we're going to be missing Damon Arnett this week and for a couple more weeks, so we're going to need more from Trayvon Mullen, but he's a good player. Coach, his leadership skills are amazing, and that swagger he brought from Clemson into this program, into this locker room. I love his energy on game day. I do, too. I think it's all starting to come together for him, the speed of the game. He understands the defense. He has some experience, and he's gaining confidence, and that's a big deal in this league, playing the corner position, confidence. And he's got a lot of that going for him right now. Here's another great play in the slot uh, where he's in tight coverage, and he avoids the P.I. call, and he does a great job with that long length of his to get another PBU. He's a good young corner, and we're going to need a lot of him this week against Diggs and the Buffalo Bills. Let's move to your receivers. Injuries to the receivers, but Hunter Renfro stepped up in this game. Let's take a look at some of the tape, how he breaks off routes, finds himself open, and how he has a sense for the end zone. Well, we're using Renfro in a lot of different areas now, JT. Here he is selling an outside breaking route. He breaks back to the inside, and then he recognizes Derek scrambling. He has the instincts to uncover and get a critical catch to keep us in an operable down and distance. But he is a natural, instinctive football player with great quickness. He's a friendly route runner. Derek knows exactly where he's going to be all the time. Here he is in the slot at the top of the screen. Everybody thinks he's running a shallow cross, but he takes it up the red line, and Derek makes one heck of a throw, and Hunter goes and gets it. That was a great two-minute drive. We took the ball 80 yards in 30 seconds to make it a 13-10 game right before halftime, and Hunter Renfro was a big part of that. Another tough dual threat quarterback who is playing at a high level in Josh Allen. Coach, he seems like he can do everything outside the pocket, inside the pocket. Let's talk about the challenges of getting your team ready for him. Well, the first thing Buffalo does is they use four wide receivers. They're using what we call 10 personnel, one running back, four wide outs. They spread the field. And Allen can do a lot off of play action to his left. This is an uncommon throw in the NFL. This is an uncommon throw, period. A guy that can get the ball in a throwing position to his right or to his left and throw the ball down the field with this kind of accuracy. He's a rare talent, and he is tough to bring down, man. I mean, JT, I don't know if you could get in there and tackle him. This guy can run all the zone reads, all the plays that you see in college football. They're able to run in Buffalo, and that's a defensive end. that can't bring the quarterback down. He cuts it back, and he takes it for a big gain. He's a, he's a tall order. How many guys stiff-arm linebackers and break tackles from defensive ends at the quarterback position? Not many. You're getting Nick Witkowski back at practice. What does that do for your defense as you're trying to fight through some of these injuries, Coach? Well, we need him back. He's our signal caller. He's our middle linebacker, and uh, we've only had him healthy for one half. So we hope to get him available on Sunday. Uh, he'll give us better communication, certainly, and give us some playmaking and allow us to access some of the things Paul Gunther wants to do. Uh, hopefully, uh, these young receivers can come back soon. I don't think Ruggs and Edwards are going to be ready to go. Rico Gafford is out. Uh, so we're going to lean on Zay Jones, the ex-Buffalo Bill, and Nelson Aguilar, and our friend Hunter Renfro. Good luck, Coach. Good luck in the game. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, JT. Have a good one.